We're here, the Domino Revival, <laughs> and um, it was so powerful to just see your presence in the film as a woman in ministry, as someone that is a strong enough man to support a woman in ministry, because we see the opposite of that happen a lot in ministry. So let's talk to that, because I think for a revival to happen in the body of Christ, we have to start treating everyone the way Jesus treated us. Absolutely. Well, you know, it's so amazing because in the Bible, we see women moving in ministry all the time. It's very natural. And actually, it says that, you know, when Jesus was moving, that it said the women came together and they took from their resources and they poured into Jesus. So women literally supported the very first Jesus movement. Without the women coming alongside Jesus and pushing and propelling him and, and helping, we don't know what would have happened. So I love that Jesus, he cared for women. He had women doing things. It was beautiful. And so to me, I just go, this is the Bible. And I don't sit around and argue with people back and forth all over social media. Well, women can preach women. I'm not doing that. All I'm going to do is the assignment in front of me. So. And God has breathed on us. Even I would like for you to touch on that as well, just because uh, your role in this really makes a big difference. And, and I want you to talk to the men out there that maybe are on the fence, maybe don't know, know, even know how to navigate. Their wife is a powerhouse like yours. My husband has one too. <laughs> so it's not easy, I know. Talk to that a little bit. Well, our whole goal is to see people saved, set free, delivered. So whether she does it or I do it or we it, through Jesus, of course. But, you know, it, um, it takes a strong man to support his wife. Yeah. You know, you, 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 she can do just the same thing as I can do. And she's doing the will of the Lord. So that's where it's that's what it's all about. You know, and being God supportive. Is, God has obviously touched what you're doing. The core yeah. group has thousands of people everywhere. For those that don't know you or your ministry, can you kind of unpack it for us? Yeah, so, okay, let's see here. Well, we are the leaders of the core group, and the core group is an online mentorship that is now turned into a movement, and currently has about 18,000 people in it. Last year, we did our first conference with 300. So you gotta think about that. In, a, in a, a little over a year's time, it has exploded. Why are people being drawn to the core group? Because it is a real revival. People come in for class, and all of a sudden they start going through deliverance in their living room with their kids, with the husbands. It is absolutely amazing. I've never seen anything like it. House groups are exploding. We literally have 800-something house groups worldwide, and you just can't get enough of the core group. It's when we get together, God's presence is so tangible. We can't take up offering. We can't barely preach. We can't do anything except be in the glory. It's that powerful. How do you cultivate it? Like if others are like, I would like to do that. I would like to invite the presence of God into my meetings and have God move the way he's moving in y'all's meeting. How, what do you say to ministers or leaders? Take put, your hands off of yeah, it. Put God first. Yeah. Take you know, your, put it. Put, point everything to Jesus. Yep. You know, it has nothing to do with Jenny or Stephen. It's we point everything to Jesus. He does the miracles, he does the healings, he does the salvation. It's nothing to do with us. He just uses us as vessels. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And I was just what people do is when they go, "Oh, we need to do a revival." They'll go look at Brownsville footage or they'll go look at Azusa footage and they'll try to mimic that. No. You have to get into the corridors of heaven. You have to get at the throne room and hear from God yourself what he wants. And so you have to let go of all the church building plans and all that. We got to do this. We got to make this. Got to make everybody comfortable. We don't make people comfortable. We literally tell people, if you want to come, you possibly could be sitting on the floor. Yeah. And you have to be out. So they will fly from another country to not even know if they have a seat and will be perfectly fine sitting on the floor. And, and we'll be right on the floor with them. Yes because it's all about Jesus, like Stephen said.